It's Wednesday night, you can't be asked cooking, so you get out your phone, you get on the old mate Uber Eats, and you decide, let's get some pasta. The three big pasta choices, of course, with everyone's favorite garlic bread, and we're gonna pair wine to them. Let's get snacking. I reckon we're gonna do a probably a Wednesday night classic, which is you want pasta, but you can't be asked cooking pasta. Yeah, so that. you get the absolute bottom of the barrel. How cheap can you go? Uber Eats, just simple, like Australiana ver version of pasta. The laziest of the lazy, isn't it? Not being able to cook pasta. But it's <laughs> so satisfying. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> uh, but we'll start with probably maybe everyone's favorite part of getting like takeaway Italian food. Regret. Garlic bread. Garlic Sorry, bread. what did I say? <laughs> You said regret. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, we got some pretty reasonable looking G bread here. Some garlic -y bread. And it's, it's also buttery, which is what I like about it. What else are you looking for? I mean, you got your garlic, you got your butter, you got your bread. There's only so many things you can do with some garlic bread. But this is the thing, like, I like I kind of have a loose idea of what would pair well with the pastas we've chosen. Uh -huh. But who the fuck knows what you want to pair to garlic bread? Let's find out. Let's find out. Hmm. Can confirm. Good garlic bread. I said full garlic bread. If you can, we'll translate that for you at home. This is a good garlic bread. In Latin. Um, <laughs> if you're, so you're taking a punt here, what are you mm. first jumping into? What do you think? I honestly reckon either the pet nat or the little light white. I think pet nat's not a mm. bad place. I might start out with the pet nat. Mm. So jumping off, I've tried it with the pet nat. I've tried it with the uh, light white. I think so far I'm leaning more towards the light white than the mm -hmm. pet nat which were your two recommendations, I believe. See, this is the more textural, then we've got the orange. So I might try the more textural next. That probably works better with like the spiciness of the garlic yeah. and the saltiness. Um, it actually works really well. The pet nap is probably a little bit too funky. But if it was like a nice sparkling wine, probably. I'll tell you what though, I don't mind that. No? No, 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 give it a whirl, see what happens. If you've got cheesy garlic bread, that's what I'd be doing. Yeah, look, yeah. Have you got like the shaved pecorino or parmesan on that? and had that, you'd be off to the races. But just with what we've got here, like your regular everyday garlic everyday bread. garlic bread. Go for your little light white. Your normal operator. This is, this is your classic little Aussie carb. So let's let's do traditional. And you can see all the bacon bits on top. Mm. I'm actually salivating. All right, I'm gonna go counts culture. I'm gonna start with the heavy wet red and work my way to where I think I should be. Are you gonna curdle right in your mouth? That sucks. Don't drink heavy red wine with cream-based sauces. If I find anyone doing this, they're a hedonist. <laughs> All right, I've gone for the more denser, textural white. So far, so good. That's yeah. really cool. And since that has a little bit of an oxidative character, like that nutty thing is really working well with the cream. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with you with the, the light red. It's pretty good, but so far, that textural white is still in the, still in the number. Yeah, orange, nah, no need. And it doesn't work with the light either. So, myth busted. Stick to your texture whites for your carbonara. Not a bad way to go with, it probably works well with the garlic bread and this. You can probably get away with it. So, a bad little result. This is another Aussie staple. Chicken pesto pasta. That's <laughs> slash. Ooh. Um, I don't know what you would typically be looking to pair something like this with because usually it's like white, white. Like white mm. sauce, white. Red sauce, red. Yeah. Green sauce. There's no green well, it's, wine. It's super herbaceous and nutty. Mm -hmm. So my honestly, my first instinct was orange wine, mm -hmm. but it could probably st stick in that texture white area. I just don't know if it goes this far. Plus, the sun-dried tomatoes add like an extra level of chaos when it comes to pairing. Mm -hmm. That like that skinzy pinot gris yeah. is like a ripper pairing. Like the sun-dried tomatoes work so well with that kind of like like rhubarb strawberry acidity with like and then nutty flavor that comes from the pesto works really well with the the, the, the tannin that comes with the, the wine as well yeah do that slash oh my goodness <laughs> that like i don't like i'm not gonna do it but that almost feels like you could pour that in there as yeah, a sauce a little that vinaigrette sick. that's actually a fuck the rest of it like that's that's king you cannot beat shockingly that shockingly good um shockingly good how good. So yeah, you go pesto with your skinzy orange wine. Skinzy orange wine, who knew? Fantastic. That's fucking wild. 
option three. Now, this is a classic. This, it's very rare that, I know that we've said the first two are classics, but it's very rare that you're gonna end up getting a pasta and someone's not gonna get a red meat sauce. So with, we've got- With the spaghetti too. We've got that spaghetti ragu, bit of red, bit of meat. Tell you what. It might be the time for heavy red. It, it might may be, be the time. It may be the time for heavy red. Honestly, I still think it's a little bit too gutsy. No. I feel like that nebi like that nebbiolo rosé that we've got there, may be an option. It's still a little bit too tart. It's still a little bit too, it's a little bit too much acid, which I generally like, and is generally really good for food. Oh look, it's a Montepulciano. Oh, new. Oh, you've done it. Oh. It's really upsetting. Noah's so much better at this than me. That is very nice. Yeah, that, that, make, that makes sense. That's when you eat. Yeah, that's what you're trying to eat. Well, that's it. I reckon, yeah, you stick what, with what you know. Get like a, a little rustic, tannic, um, medium bodied red, Sangiovese, Montepulciano, Dolcetto, anything like that. Anything that's got three syllables and is from Italy. Works <laughs> fantastically. But yeah, I still think pairing of the day is that pesto with that orange wine. That's yeah, slats. no, that was very cool. In conclusion, this essay aimed to prove that these are the wines you should eat with these pastas and garlic bread, and I think we've done that substantially well. Yeah, and I think what's good about this is that some of it, like what we already knew, like the medium bodied red with the, the red sauce pasta, but orange wine and pesto, shit. And also, something else that's good, Brendan's not here and he's paying for lunch, so great news <laughs> all around. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Thanks, boss. Cheers, mate. See all you next time, guys. guys.